Hi, I'm George Cow, and I'm excited to be here with Sandy Freshy. She is a human design blueprint consultant and really is the person that I send people to who want to learn more about human design. If those, some of you watching this have already heard about this system called human design, which um, helps you, well, we're gonna talk a lot about this in this video, but it's, um, uh, it's sort of like a personality typing system based on your birth place and birth date, but I'm, I'm not a specialist in this area, and Sandy's gonna give us a lot. Um, Sandy, thank you so much for being here. Well, thank you, George, for having me. Yeah, it's great to have you. Um, you know, Sandy, you're a part of uh, my Master Heart Business Mentoring Program, and so many people in our group have benefited tremendously from your um, consultations, and it's really helped a lot of people become more confident and successful in how they operate their business, how they approach their marketing. So maybe you can start there. Um, well, let, actually, we'll take a step back a little bit. For the people, whether people know human design well or not, it's always enjoyable to hear you describe human design again uh, for both novices and intermediates uh, and advanced people. But um, can you yeah, share with us what, how, how you're describing it these days? Sure. Um, the general definition or the general description of human design usually goes something like it's a personality assessment tool that is uh, a synthesis of astrology, the I Ching, the chakra system, the Kabbalah tree of life. And it shows us how we're activated by uh, the energy streams from the cosmos to be who we are, how we're imprinted. And uh, what I really uh, hone in on when I uh, look at human design charts is the concept that there's a big piece of uh, what we can know about who you are from a genetic perspective, from the perspective of what you've inherited from your, your genetic line, and also how you live that out in sort of the behavioral genetic potentials. So I like to say that human design is a way to look at your uh, genetic potentials, your your potential to grow as a soul in a human body, and how you can leverage your energy and your experience in your life to uh, live the highest aspects of what it is that you're here to do and be. Okay, that's so. great. Yeah, that's helpful. Um, so one of the things that people find most helpful when they work with you in human design, and you've got You've got you know one-on-one -on -one consultations that you do. You also, um, you know, you, you can give people their human design chart and interpret it for them. Uh, you also have online courses relating to the various aspects of human design um, for the different types. Um, so, but but one of the most important things, of course, those watching this are trying to grow a business, and in growing a business. Um, and especially the, the way that I want to talk about it, which is authentically, it means to do things in a way that is more aligned with how our natural strengths are. So how does, maybe you can start talking to us about that. Um, give us an example, if you can, of, you know, some, some human design type that probably shouldn't do business in this way or do marketing this way versus versus maybe would be more in flow doing it this way or that way maybe you just kind of give us some give us some sense of that okay so let me give you just a, a little bit or give the audience just a little bit of overview that there are mm. actually five different energy types right yes and the majority of energy types uh have this way of knowing uh, what to do next that comes from their gut response. And they also have this um, generative, uh, this energy that regenerates within them to be able to sustain work in the way that, you know, the, the outside world, the mainstream world understands is how we do work. So that about 70% of the people on the planet can make decisions from this gut response. It's probably where we got that uh, colloquial guidance of follow your gut. 
And um, some of them need to wait for emotional clarity. Some can do it in the moment. And it all depends on your chart and how you're hardwired. But the rest of the people, the other 30%, don't have that consistent access to a gut response. So uh, they are actually not the ones who carry that energy to do the work or are able to do the work in the way that that mainstream, um, uh, the way that mainstream work and business is uh, done is, uh, or the way that mainstream business is understood uh, as to how we do it. So, yeah, and, and I'm sorry to interrupt. Can you just, let's put terminology to it so people can understand the 70% of the world, of the population, 70%, I don't know how many people who are watching this, I don't know if I have more generators or projectors or whatever, but the 70% of the world in the human design studies have shown that 70% are what's called generators. That's the yeah, title generators of generators and manifesting type. generators. And I'm manifesting grouping them generators. together, yes. Okay, okay, got it, great. And then the 30% are not generators, projectors. projectors. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, reflectors, which reflectors. are who are very okay. rare, about 1%, and then manifestors, okay. who are really okay. the only type who can truly just do things. <laughs> when they're when they're clear about the timing, they're the ones who can wake up and feel feel the pulse of the 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 their timing and know that it's time to start a business. Go in, rent a space, get everybody everything together, start making phone calls and it all works out. The even the generators, they have to follow their gut response, they have to have things to respond to, and then the projectors and reflectors, they have um, they're a little bit different, um, but they really need to wait for the, the people and the resources and the right uh, collaborations and uh, the right positioning to come to them so that they actually have that uh, energy to do the day-to-day the -day work as, uh, and they're supported in that as they move forward. And that's where a lot of this energy, particular energy type, uh, gets burned out. So yeah, they're, yeah, they're trying to do things and even generators do it if they're not responding and they're trying to get something started out of thin air. Um, so it's, it's a matter of knowing who you are and how you operate that, that puts you in that flow of how you do business. Mm. It, those who are watching this, um, if you know your human design type and want to share what that is, it would be fun to see you comment below. And, and, and see, because I, I would love to know everybody in my audience, you know, where, where, where are we landing in terms of what types we are? Um, in, in, uh, in our Master Heart group, uh, since you've done readings or consultations with several people, what have been the percentages overall? I mean, not exact percentages, but are, what, what's, what's the majority that you've seen? I would say that the majority are generators and manifesting generators, but there okay. are a few projectors. Okay. All I right. don't think I've uh, run a chart for anyone who is a manifester, but okay. I wouldn't be surprised if we have one in the group, yes. but they're so busy doing their thing. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's right. Yeah, that'd be, that's interesting. So generators, manifesting generators are very common. Um, and then projectors, some projectors as well. Okay, so let's get into this. Um, let's talk about confidence and success. And you have something you wanted to share on that. Well, it's really inspired from you, George, from one of those things that you kind of said offhandedly about how uh, money and success uh, follow confidence. Mm -hmm. And I got to thinking about how you really have to know yourself in order to be confident. And the, and it's more, and I and with that, I've really started looking at the human design chart for specific clues on what it takes to be confident, but that's enough for a year long workshop. So, <laughs> but it, it, but that surface level of understanding your type and how your type operates and how you make decisions is very, very important. It's an important building block for building confidence, that self-confidence that doesn't depend on outside input. So, uh, 
So one of the things, the primary things that we do initially in a human design session is to talk about the way that you're hardwired to make decisions. We call it your decision-making authority. And within each energy type is, uh, each energy type, most every energy type except reflectors, have several different ways, depending on your chart, that you can make decisions. So getting back to the generators and the manifesting generators, they have this gut response that kind of turns their motor on for working and doing things when something tangible comes into their life. But some of them need to actually... And, sorry to interrupt. Can you say what you mean by gut response? What does that mm. mean? What, what is a gut response? A gut response is something that is felt deep in the abdomen. Mm -hmm. And we call it a sacral response. Somebody who, if there's anyone who in, who's listening who is familiar with the chakra systems, it's down in that area of the, uh, where the sacral chakra would be, the second chakra in, in below the belly button. Okay. Um, and it, it comes spontaneously out of a generator manifesting, gen, a manifesting generator's mouth as some sort of a guttural response that just happens before the thought comes in the the shoulds and the and when you say it comes out of the mouth you mean like they speak it or what do you mean by mm -hmm. that like generators uh often you can hear them going uh-huh uh-huh uh-uh uh-uh okay. without even really thinking about it manifesting generators may have a different thing that comes out of their mouth because their energy systems run a little faster so it could be yes no it could be uh-huh uh-uh but it's something that sort of unconsciously comes out without a lot of mental awareness uh, that sort of guides them when they pay attention to it as to what the next thing is. Okay, so if, uh, just to uh, stay on this just a minute, so mm -hmm. for, the, for the manifesting generators and the generators, they know the gut response for an opportunity. So an opportunity is presented to them and they instantly have a yes or no without even thinking about it. That's the idea, right? Right. And it, they'll usually be able to feel it in their bodies when, when they're in tune with that aspect okay. of themselves. Okay. Yeah. And okay. then it, they'll hear it as well. Okay. Great. Thanks. That's helpful. Mm -hmm. So where do we go from here? I forgot what I was yeah. saying. <laughs> so um, you were, yeah, you were talking about uh, the gut response and um how well essentially how do we know the the opportunities to, to say yes to and yeah i think so i think that's what we're talking about yeah so so that's an example with using the manifesting generators and the generator energy types uh, as to how they know that they're on the right track of making decisions that really build their groundwork that that help them to stay grounded in whatever it is that they're creating or however wherever it is that they're moving um, the other energy types have other ways of knowing for instance uh, the the exact opposite is with the manifester you know the manifester actually can uh, some of them uh, can pay attention to what comes out of their mouth spontaneously, like what they speak their mind. They're designed to speak their mind without even knowing a lot of times what they're saying until it comes out. Uh, others have to be emotionally clear and take their time. Uh, so, so do some of the generators as well, depending on what's in their chart. Uh, and then others still have to kind of follow uh, a gentle, subtle, intuitive prompt in their body. Projectors. Now, I could go on for hours and hours about the different ways that different projectors are designed to make decisions uh, depending on their chart. But one of the major things that projectors need to understand is that their decision making really comes into play after they've had an invitation because it's the invitation that sort of activates them to the action and it's usually invitate the when it's really important it's for invitations for really big things like uh long-term relationships or uh big moves in their lives or big changes that require a lot of energy so with projectors a lot of times uh we're waiting when I'm working with them, we're waiting 
for them to actually have an opportunity to uh, be presented in via an invitation so that they can really feel through the way that they make decisions at that time. So if somebody is waiting, um, what can they, is there anything they, they, they can do proactively while they're waiting? Yeah, well, with projectors in particular, it, it, the waiting thing can be overdone mm. because, you know, you don't need to, like, we don't need invitations. And some people have said, in terms of business, some people have said, uh, you know, that social media is an invitation for, for projectors to, you know, share, share what's on your mind. And really the thing with invitations is when it, when you have to do something physical, when you have to make a physical shift or a physical move or invest your energy in something that's going to require a lot from you, you want that support from the other end, drawing it out of you. So what you're doing while you're waiting, what projectors do while they're waiting is to uh, cultivate in a sense of their own bliss to uh, uh, study the things that they love to study, to immerse themselves in their own passions, and then let that come out of them in the way that they're it's inspi inspired to come out. And that in turn strengthens their energy system, strengthens their um, so-called attraction field, so that those who are looking for them, because projectors really are, are here, they're, they're about 22% of the population, and they're here to kind of guide the work along, so to speak. So those who are looking for the guidance can recognize that this person has something that uh, they need, and then they can be invited into it. I see. Yeah, that's that's helpful. Yeah, because there are kind of my social media. There there are a lot of opportunities where, if we pay attention, we see that we are being invited to contribute to a discussion or, you know, to fill a gap that we're seeing noticing. Like no one's talking about this. You know. Yes. Um, yes. So, uh, okay. So so that's the projector. And then when it comes to the generators and manifesting generators um you know how do we how how do how do they hone that gut response what what's the way to get more in touch with you know the 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 truth of that i guess the more reliably yeah it's it's really interesting uh working with generators and manifesting generators because a lot of generators and manifesting generators already know it they, they just didn't know that that was it, right? So they get it. And, uh, and then they just kind of hone it and pay attention. And then there are others that I've worked with who may have had some trauma or uh, something that happens uh, because of our cultural conditioning is that, that the uh-huh, uh-uh response is kind of trained out of generators and manifesting generators when they're children because it's not polite right so some of uh, what they need to do is to really get back in touch with that uh, either you know sometimes it's just about paying attention to what's coming into their lives and how what's coming out of their mouths as they're enjoying maybe something good that they're eating that they've received a meal that they've received or uh, paying attention to maybe uh, what comes out of their mouths and how they feel when there's something that's kind of repelling them. Um, and then there are some generators and manifesting generators who really have a hard time connecting. And sometimes it has to do with actual trauma, sexual trauma and things like that. And sometimes we go in and, uh, and work with that a little bit. And sometimes I refer or, or, uh, suggest that they go and have some body work or something like that to really heal that trauma so they can get back into their truth finding mechanism in their body. One thing that helps generators and manifesting generators quite a bit is to be asked yes and no questions. And uh, the more that the, the questions come to them in yes and no format, um, in a way where they don't have time to think about it, the more it forces them or uh, trains them to get back into their body and into that automatic response. 
Okay, yeah, that's helpful. So um, when you're working with people, I mean, because, okay, those who are watching this, maybe they get their human design chart and they uh, try to figure out on their own, maybe by, you know, reading different things. What's the difference in working with somebody like you? How, you know, what, what, what emerges as a result? Well, I get a lot of people who do, who have searched all over the internet. They've watched some of my videos and everybody else's videos and they get the pieces or they've read books. They get the pieces and, and they, they understand certain aspects of themselves. But when it comes to looking at the whole chart and looking at um, the major themes that sort of repeat themselves through different aspects of the chart, that's where it really helps to have a human design reading because it, it cuts through a lot of that guesswork and uh, through a lot of, of maybe missed pieces that they don't get from trying to piece it together themselves. Mm. Yeah, that's helpful. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, share my screen because I wanted to show people your website and uh, maybe you can just spend a, a minute to talk us through this here. So this is Sandy's website. Uh, it's sandyfreshy.com, just her name.com. And uh, you've got the, this video which introduces people. And then you've got these three, maybe you could tell us a little bit about, you know, what's, what's this, you know, how, how do we choose between these three? Well, I always recommend, uh, especially if you have investigated your chart quite a bit, um, to go ahead and just invest in uh, hum uh, an entry level human design reading, okay. which will tell you about, and that's the button as you're yeah. looking at the screen on the left. Yes. Yeah. And that will give you, and I talk about it in terms of success, how you are here to create success, how you're designed to create success. Mm -hmm. And you get a report, you get a, a recorded reading, and I'm actually uh, adding on the, the live follow-up to that. So it's a report of recorded reading. And, and right now it's an option to have a live follow-up, but people usually want the live follow-up. So I'm just gonna make that the whole service. Okay, um, great. Yeah. So, uh, so that's where I suggest that you start if you have been looking all over the internet and you've come across me somehow, uh, and then that gets you grounded. Uh, the center one is when you've had some, when you've had your reading, when you understand how you operate, maybe you've been practicing the way you uh, make decisions, your, your whole strategy for getting in the flow of your life for a while and you want to take it a step further. So that's where you can learn about yourself in relationships. That's where uh, you can learn more about your life purpose as it's uh, expressed in the human design chart. And that's also where, and I'm, I can't remember what I put there. Yes. The life cycle readings. That's what I thought. Yes. Where you can look at what's coming up uh, your, your next birthday year or what's coming up for the next major cycle in your life. And these are, are pieces that are very valuable after you've had the foundational piece or have put the foundational piece in place of understanding who you are and how you operate through a reading. Great. And then if you just want to hang out, if you're new to human design, you're new to me, you want to kind of know what it's about or how I work with it because I'm not really a purist. I, I do a lot of energy work. I do a lot of activations. Then you can go here where you just, uh, what you just pulled up to see what my courses are about. I have a free resource portal where I put the archive of my newsletters and there's some free goodies in there that um, can just get you kind of acclimated to uh, at least my little corner of the human design world. Cool. Right. Yeah, that's helpful. Thank you so much. So, um, of course, I'll put the link in the notes of the video. Sandy, thank you so much for the work that you do and the impact you've made on so many people. Um, so I look forward to seeing how people who watch this video benefit from your work. Well, thank you, George. Yeah, thanks.